went and dropped off my Golf R this morning and Enterprise Rent-A-Car gave me a little car that I thought I have to do a little film on. It's a Fiat 500 mild hybrid. So 70 horsepower, not much power, but a little city car. And I drove it all the way back from Newport to Bristol. I drove it back and I was really impressed with the little thing. So I thought I'd take you out for a little drive just to see what it's like to actually live with. So out and about in this little Fiat 500. Now, as I said in my little piece to camera to begin with, this is a massively smash and grab film. This morning when I took my golf in to have a service, I didn't think I was going to be driving anything particularly special or you know, noteworthy. So I wasn't ready to be able to do a film. So this is just me on my own doing stuff. So there's no, gonna be no tracking, there's gonna be no drone shots, there's gonna be none of that beauty stuff. I'm just gonna try and get a, across to everyone how nice this little car is. Now, I wasn't gonna do this little film, but on my drive back, sort of 25, 30 odd miles, I genuinely really like this little car. I really do. It's a really nice little car. It feels a lot more refined than I remember the Fiat 500's feeling. Now, this little one litre three cylinder engine, obviously is a mild hybrid, has a 12 volt motor that helps it out here, there and everywhere. For fuel economy purposes, we're talking 53 miles to the gallon, which is, which is pretty good. I mean, I today have done 47.4, but that's been all motorway driving. Something that I don't like about it, and I don't like this about every hybrid car, electric car that I drive, I don't like the regenerative braking, but that's more because it feels like you left, you've left the handbrake on. That's what genuinely what it feels like. So it feels like you're grabbing the, grabbing the brake and it, it, I just don't like it very much. This is trying to promote, I suppose, a different way of driving. So what this is trying to promote is it's trying to promote, if you're driving along like this, I've got my foot on the accelerator, we do 50 miles an hour and it's absolutely fine. But when you are coasting down a hill or something like that, you knock it into neutral and you just coast along. So it feels like, have you ever been in an Uber with someone that does that or uh, in a taxi where someone just knocks it into neutral all the time? To me, I just feel out of control, but that's each to their own, I suppose. This is a typical Fiat 500. Like with my other film of the Abarth version, it's all very typical Fiat 500 in here. The plastics are all a little bit cheap. It's not a vastly expensive car. It's about 14 and a half grand for this car which probably on the monthly is about 250 quid, which is ridiculously cheap. And it's a lovely little style icon. This one lovely with its little panoramic sunroof. It's got this sort of faux leather interior, which is actually, I believe, recycled plastic. And 10% of that recycled plastic comes out of the ocean. And I believe they're going to be, you know, a small country sort of the size of the UK or Wales or Scotland or whatever is going to be cleared in the ocean by Fiat and I think that's a really really lovely touch of Fiat themselves to do that because obviously we're in this in, in the world at the moment we're all trying to help each other out it's a I don't want to say sprightly little engine but it does the job really really nicely you've obviously got your city steering on here so if you press that it says city in front of you and the steering is literally look at that I mean look I can turn the steering wheel. I can turn the steering wheel with my pinky. It's so light, that's ridiculous. I don't particularly like that because it feels exceptionally numb and like it's not connected to anything. Everything else in here, I wish again, like with all Fiat 500s, I wish that the seat would go a little bit lower in the car. I wish the steering wheel would move and sort of come up to my chest. It would make me feel a lot more connected to the car itself, but that's all fine. It's got all the mod cons in here that you'd expect from any 2021 car dab radio infotainment system is fine it's quite tricky to use but i'm sure it's one of those things i jumped in this car this morning i knew nothing about it when i got in it i tried to put the sat nav on i couldn't do it so i just used ways that happens quite a lot anyway in most of the cars i have to drive the six speed gearbox it's nice it's not particularly direct it feels a bit rubbery but it does a lovely job 
It's six speeds as well, so that you can, on a motorway, you can put it into sixth gear and it absolutely perfectly cruised along this morning at motorway speeds and genuinely returned me 51 miles to the gallon on the motorway at motorway speeds. I'm sure if you sort of tuck in behind someone in the inside lane, you'd be able to get higher numbers. It's just a really nice little car. Something that I'm really, really impressed with is the ride. The ride's fantastic. It deals with bumps and lumps and potholes and you know speed bumps. It's, after all, is a city car. So it is very, very good with the ride and it's way more refined, as I say, than I thought it was gonna be. There's a little bit of tire noise, but we're on quite a rough bit of road. Other than that, I just think this is a really interesting prospect. If you want to buy yourself a little city car that's cool, that looks cool, Let's be honest, hot women drive Fiat 500s, don't they? It's just that they it sort of took over from the Mini. It was the first guys of the Mini, it was all pretty young ladies driving these. Now is these. This is the car to have if you're a sort of middle class, wealthy, blonde girl. <laughs> but I don't feel self-conscious at all driving it around. I think it's a really cool, little piece of little piece of fun and it's fun to drive it's fun to drive doing 50 miles an hour it's not it's not a problem at all we're going about to go down a lovely little bit of road so let's see what so let's see what the what it's like going around corners the brakes are quite sharp oh the engine only revs to sort of five and a half it's got that lovely darty fiat feeling there is not a lot of feel through the steering so you have to sort of take couple of bites at the steering when you go around a corner you know 60 miles an hour it's it'll get things done if you need to go on lovely little short journeys to get the shopping pick up the kids from school anything like that it's the worst one i'd choose I liked it that much i genuinely might buy one as a little run around i really might an older one probably not a hybrid you do have to stir the gearbox quite a lot which i do actually quite like but you have to keep on top of what gear it's in because if you accidentally put it in sick i mean like literally it feels like we're going to stall it's just fun it's just fun it's a fiat isn't it it's fun so there you go little insight sorry that it's not been up to the usual standards but um subscribe like ring the bell there'll be loads more to come Maybe do a couple more little vlog style things. But if you liked it, then please let me know. If you didn't like it, keep your thoughts to yourself. <laughs>